as you see, we've got um, a bit of colour on this uh, canvas already, some yellow. It's kind of like um, an orangey yellow. We've actually got two colours, actually mixed. Um, so we've got more of a deeper orange and a lighter orange, which they are kind of they're quite intense, colours quite saturated. Um, lots of yellow and cadmium red involved. Um, when I ground the canvas, this might be an interior. I'm thinking this is going to be an interior painting. And this was one of the um, canvases I grounded with texture paste in one of my previous videos. So I'm just going to apply, carry on applying lots of yellow and this deeper orange um, to the ground. Now make sure when you Around in your canvas, getting all those sections of the white complete. You might have to go through a couple of uh, layers of paint before you get all of it. Um, it depends what you want to do. I mean, usually I go with one color, but sometimes you might want to do two. In this case, I've used I've got two colors. Um, so I think it's good to have a combination of two colours sometimes to make the ground look a little bit more interesting. And again, you don't have to have an idea of what the composition or the image is going to be necessarily. You just have an idea of the colour theme you want to go with. This is going to be quite a, the overlay of this piece is going to be quite grey and dark, kind of more realistic colours. So that's why I want kind of reasonably bright ground um, to make it stand out a little bit through the gaps of the darker tones that are going to follow. Um, it depends how big your canvas is, but you need to apply quite a liberal amount of paint on. <clears throat> to get all that canvas in. But you don't have to use two colours, I think. You can use as many colours as you want. I try and limit it to one or two, maybe three. Um, doesn't really matter as long as you've got a colour theme in mind because a lot of the overlay colours like I said are going to be darker but they are going to be influenced quite highly with yellows and oranges we're going to have the complementary blues involved um, so complementary oranges and blues are going to be predominant colours in this piece <coughs> and then Some kind of being a little bit abstract with my mark making, just creating a bit of an abstract kind of composition. Um, nothing, nothing of the overlay image will be like this. I'm just using this as maybe some subtle guidelines of where maybe differentiating colours are going to be. Um, And what I might do after this is go in with a um, with a blue or a darker colour, not necessarily the oil overlay actually um, tones of the representational part of the image, but as the ground abstract, I'm still going to push back some of these yellows, making contrast with some blue or other oranges before I start.
So yeah, what I'll do, I'll just let it dry like that. And I'll give a second coat of the actual colours I've just gone in with, make them brighter, make them more intense. Just go over the same sections using sort of um, dividing um, shapes and things like that. And then we're going to go on with the, the contrasting complementary blues and things, but then have a bit of a balance between the two. And then we're going to start drawing on the composition. Okay. 